Well, we're in the middle of a heat wave. Last day of May, and it's all already in the 70s. Early morning. I'm not used to this heat, but I'm liking it. Just not used to it yet. We'll get there. Um, I am coming off an interval day yesterday, so very hard day yesterday, plus a two hour um, steady bike ride. So today is my longer-ish, easy run. I am doing a lot of hiking to begin with. I've got a 2,000 foot climb in maybe about three miles. Then I'm gonna hike up, just headed up uh, Adams Canyon North, North Fork. Here's the North Fork. There's the South Fork. I'm going north. And I hope to, uh, once I make the climb up to the divide, we'll get some good views. And then I'm gonna be going off trail um, to hook into another part of the Snow King trail system, which is really back behind this, this mountain range right here. And so I wanna get back into the, to the Snow King range and start doing some of those trails. So once I get back there, it'll be a little bit more runnable. And, but again, I've got a nice hiking run combo climb to get there, plus a little bit of off trail. So I thought today would be a great day to give my full review on the Ultra Superior 4.0. This is what I would consider a general shoe. And just like all my reviews, this is about functionality, this is about performance, but this is also about how shoes can help us create strength and foot strength and how foot strength and strength also equates to proper form, which all is one big package for good run strength while you're out running. Okay, we don't have to be doing a lot of, lot of strength in the gym if we're applying a lot of principles and good shoes while we're out running. So that's gonna be the review today, the Ultra Superior 4.0. Um, caveat, this is what maybe the Ultra would consider last season's shoe. I've put in a good full season. I've got a good idea of what this can do. And they were will be upgrading to the 4.5 in June. So um, keep that in mind. I wanted to get this out before that came out. So if, if you're interested in this type of shoe that you can start to look at the 4.5. So, all right, onward. All right, like I mentioned, I'm gonna be putting this shoe through just about every type of terrain today to put it through some final paces. But what's immediate that you're gonna notice about the Superior is it's very natural feeling, very flexible, very hugging your foot, a good feel. But what's unique about it is the outsole and midsole is very flexible. It really conforms naturally to the terrain that you're, you're running on, which I really, really like, with what I would consider adequate protection. So most companies will use the size nine as a testing size and the size that they based weight on. And for size nine in the Superior, it weighs out at 8.5 ounces or 240 grams. So I would consider it definitely on the light end, but not the lightest, which um, for this type of shoe and my purpose is a good thing. So what I really like, especially right now I'm climbing, is that the outsole midsole is really so flexible, like I mentioned, that it really just hugs and articulates with your foot around obstacles, with the trail, with the grade, 
and it's just a really really ideal natural feel and i think that's what where this shoe really shines this is a a really really natural feeling shoe with its zero drop that ultra is known for the for those of you who don't know what zero drop is that's just the differential between the stack height of the forefoot and the heel and with all ultra shoes that's a zero a zero differential so the profile of this shoe is 19 millimeters in the forefoot and 19 millimeters in the heel giving you the zero drop it's so nice to be in the shade got a little breeze one good thing when it gets warm in jackson we get quite a bit of wind so it's it's a nice breeze it's not great for biking but it feels good when it's this hot Six hundred feet of climbing in just under a mile. Another unique thing about the Superior, it has a removable plastic, very thin plastic rock guard that goes underneath the footbed. And this is just to really kind of cut the edge from terrain like this where you've got all these little little stones that just sometimes give you that little jab because the outsole is not a full outsole it's cut with exposed midsole to it which gives it its weight or lack thereof and so having that rock shield in there just cuts the edge from all those little small little pebbles that can sometimes jab you but with the 19 millimeter stack height it's uh it's pr pretty good for most terrain i found for most distances we'll get into that later as i mentioned in a lot of my previous videos this spring i've been doing a lot of different things this year this is year four of a five-year training plan. So my my plan with year four is to take the long climbs during a longer run easier, but then doing a lot more hard, very intense hills during the week. So this is why I'm hiking this climb, just to keep the, the level of effort easy. But this type of train I pick and choose my spots with a little run based on my heart rate, but this type of train is really where the superior shines. It's just nice buffed trail. And this is really what I enjoy running on the most with the superior. So if you have trails like this, you're just gonna love this shoe. It's just so natural feeling and it's a great combination of a minimal natural feel with what I call adequate protection based on the distance you want to go. I'm used to most of my shoes for a really technical train are between five or I sorry between 15 to 18 millimeter in stack height in the forefoot. So when I put this 19 on with my foot strength exercises, this really kind of, even though it has a great natural feel, it, it also provides a lot of really, really nice comfort in a natural way to allow me to go quite a long distance. Okay, we're getting up to the first part, first little divide. We're gonna go right up on this little ridge right here in the trees, drop down, and then we got one more, one more climb. But since my, since I'm so used to a minimal shoe with great foot strength, you know, this, this really has become my go-to shoe for long, easy runs. Because again, it's given me that ideal natural feel 
adequate protection, comfort to allow me go great distances. What it lacks in my opinion is I'm gonna first by say that I have a very, very narrow foot, very narrow foot. And as you can see, my toes are also cut at a very sharp angle. So I have a very long big toe and a long foot because of the big toe, but then it drops off almost like a, the Grand Teton. And so my one complaint for me with the Ultra is that the wide toe box that most people love is just a little bit too wide for me. Therefore, I have to size down a half a size to get lower volume in the shoe to make it feel secure, which makes the shoe just a tad short for me. It's doable, but um, that would be my one complaint for me. And again, it's not a complaint with what they're doing. It's a complaint because of my foot. And so I would say sizing wise, with all my athletes that use the Superior, I would say it runs true to size. For me, I had to size down a half a size because of my narrow feet. And I give up a little bit of shoe length that might be really good for very, very long runs. Last climb before the first divide. You can see how we're popping up. Get better views up the top. So right now I'm at about maybe 15% grade. And again, this is where the shoe shines because I'm at such a steep angle. My feet are just working so naturally. Nothing's holding me up with a, a stiff outsole or any stability options built into the shoe. So this is what I truly love about the Superior. It's just so natural feeling. All right, here's the the first little divide, get to run a little bit downhill and show you where we're headed. But So why is that natural feel so important? Because our first line of defense from stability is our feet, our big toe, our arch. We need to use those to create stability. That's why foot strength is so important and why having a natural shoe allows you to use your muscles in your body in an appropriate way that with every step layers on strength training and that's so powerful from a performance standpoint and a longevity and health standpoint all right the aspens are starting to pop here i'm just headed right down we're going to pick up a secondary trail and go right up through the aspens and the and the evergreen to hit our last divide and finish up the climb so we're gonna I would consider all this secondary trail but this next one may be kind of a third a third degree trail basically it's just created through foot travel and game travel but it's nice to have right outside the front door and here we go first time on it this year Hopefully no snow. With this hot weather, I've had a lot of snow up here melt. So I'm hoping that normally this time of year, last day of May, I would encounter snow and I'd wait a little bit, but I think we should be good. Not every shoe's perfect, right? One area I think in general I'd like to see improved is the upper. Because I think the material's good, especially in the toe box, but there's a a full, full uh, piece of overlay, almost encompassing the, the midfoot to the heel that kind of gives a good snug fit, but it, not a lockdown fit. So where I've experienced very, very technical terrain that I'm used to running, that I kind of lose a little bit of, or my foot slides around a little bit in the shoe. And so that would be my only gripe as far as how the upper is constructed is that maybe there's a little bit more stability straps 
overlays that run down into the midsole to kind of secure the foot a little bit better. Having said that, I use this shoe for a long distance easy, sh easy effort. Therefore, I don't necessarily always need to have great shoe lockdown because my speed's a little bit slower. With the upper construction though, it also provides great rock protection when you're in scree fields or in very technical terrain. It adds to a little protection from sharp rock that you might be hitting from the side of the shoe. Um, so even though you might not get that lockdown feel, there is a great advantage to the upper construction in far, as far as durability. So these shoes, very, very durable for its weight. And another high double thumbs up for me with this shoe is I do early season, I do a lot of pavement to trail running from my house, like today. As the big mountains open up, I'll be doing less of that, but I enjoy this shoe to run on that pavement. It doesn't wear very fast. It's comfortable on the pavement. And then obviously it shines on trail. So if you're doing a lot of road to trail running, this is, this is a brilliant shoe for you. Almost 1600 feet of climbing. So even on terrain like this, it's a little grass, soft ground, where your foot gets tossed around by uneven ground. My foot's really, really grabbing the ground and I'm running with my feet, not my shoes. It's such a, such a great natural feel. If you're used to watching my channel, you, you know how I'm fixated by mountain lion. I will see one this year. Here's a little bit of scat. They do that in the trail to mark their trail, maybe like a dogwood with some pee. So definitely in mountain, mountain lion terrain because there's so many deer. All right, we I'm up at the divide, obviously a little wind, natural for being up at the divide. Got 1800 feet of climbing, came down from the hole at home and just over here, got our first shot of the Grand Tetons, still shredded in snow. It's gonna be, oh, about another six weeks to really have good running out at the Tetons. So all this running I'm doing here is really preparing me for getting up high. And now we're gonna drop down into Snow King. This, this real green ridge right here that's Snow King Mountain. So I'm gonna drop down. This is where, this is where I'm gonna go off trail a little bit and hook up with the other trail. So a little off road. Let's see how these do on this type of train. See again, this is really, really shines on this type of train because you're just able to use your feet. The shoe's not tossing you around. Right down there is our trail junction. Not bad at all. And here we go. Trails are just perfect right now. A little moist, not dusty. 
It's just amazing conditions and perfect trail for this shoe. What I want to talk about is maybe where this shoe doesn't shine. So I'm, if I'm up in the Tetons, a very technical terrain, alpine environment, lots of rock, lots of technical terrain, or when I'm running really, really fast for speed work, um, this would be a shoe that I would maybe steer away from just because, like I mentioned, my foot is very narrow and I tend to get a little, little movement with the, with the wide toe box. And it's just, uh, might need a little bit more protection from the outsole with those uh, kind of real pointy, sharp, sharp rocks and terrain. So that would be the only time where I wouldn't pick this shoe. But it's, it's certainly gonna be serviceable for it. All right, I'm an hour in, good place for a little drink, and to talk about who this shoe is really for, the Ultra Superior. For all the reasons I'm using it for, I would, I would argue that every runner will find a purpose for this shoe, regardless of what type of runner they are, if you're a trail runner. Um, this is a great general shoe. You know, and the thing about generals, they're good at a lot of things. They're maybe not great at any one thing, but what this shoe shines at and is great is its natural feel. So if you're looking to make a, a jump into a more natural shoe, maybe a lower profile shoe without stability and start to strengthen your feet, your legs, and start steering more towards a minimal shoe, this is a great, great shoe for that entry point for someone who's looking to make that entry into minimal or I would say I hate that word minimal I like more of a natural shoe okay this is going to allow your feet to work naturally and that's the key um, with this type of shoe so if if you can only have one trail shoe this is a great way to go yeah I, I use it in my rotation I have a variety of shoes um, that I use based on the type of train I'm on. But if, if you only need one shoe, this is the shoe I would highly, highly recommend. Again, it's great for road to trail, um, dirt roads, buffed out trail. It's gonna be good for everything. And it, you know, most shoes aren't gonna shine in muddy terrain. And this, this is no different. The, the outsole is not made for really, really deep mud. But again, I found that no shoes are really great at that anyway. So you're going to slip and slide. So this is just a really overall a great shoe, great entry point for any type of running. But from my point of view, from strength coach and run coach, you know, this is really the type of shoe that you need to start steering towards for health within your feet, using your feet naturally, helping you with your form. Now, keep in mind, no shoe is gonna is a given to have good form okay but this is just going to help you be able to detect and dial into proper form because of its natural feel okay and it's it's just got great adequate protection for all types of terrain so highly highly recommend this shoe and you know i'm looking forward to what they come out with the 4.5 so hope that's helpful for you guys check it out um hey if you have experience in this shoe Let's let's hear about it. That's those are just as helpful as anything. If people running in this shoe, let us know. Let you let us know what you experience. So, all right, I'm uh, halfway. Um, I think I'm at Hell Snow King. So, all right, thanks for coming along as always. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.